Hi guys, I want to do a very quick review um, video, a couple of things that I have hauled before that I want to say I've used them now and I would like to tell you what I think of them. Um, first of all, I would like to tell you that I did kind of a makeup clean out on mascara and so I had a bunch of mascaras, probably about a month or two old, uh, pretty much unopened because I always use Chanel and Inevitable Mascara. And so I decided to just take a week and each tube of mascara, I was going to use it and then decide, do I really like this? What am I gonna do with it? And I have to tell you guys, you know what I came to? I'm more than ever in love with my Chanel and Inevitable Mascara. There is none other for me. Cause even though I did my Maybelline, um, my eyes started getting super irritated, and I think it was, you know, it can be just from changing out, you know, different formulas, and your eyes get irritated because it's not used to the same thing, same old, same old, but um, I think what it really was is the formula that I didn't like, I mean, I liked it, I actually thought it was going to be a dupe, or maybe even a better than Chanel, because the waterproof is very um, waterproof, meaning it's probably got more wax in it, and it was harder to get off. You know, I take it off in the shower with my nails. I just kind of lightly pull it off the ends because I've got. A, I keep a little um, bottle of um, waterproof eye makeup remover in there, so I thought that would be fine. But you guys, nothing compares. So anyway, I'm just gonna pay the price. Gonna pay the price because it's expensive. Mm -hmm. By the way, when I'm wearing it, just in case you're interested, this is a beautiful color. It's a beautiful blue, and it's um, it's also got, I don't know if you can tell, kind of almost like a hint of a pearlescence to it, even though it's blue. Isn't that unusual? But for summer, pastels are really pretty, so I thought I'd tell you about this one, and it is called Breezy Blue, and it's 481 And this is the um, Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. So I don't know if you're interested, but if you were, that's what I'm wearing. You know what I love about Sally Hansen? This is not what I was going to do. It never is. I never stick to what I was going to do. I'm a total non-professional. Um, I love that Sally Hansen, um, I don't know if you can tell that. I don't want to drip. I figured I'll polish everywhere. She has flat brushes, which j they just glide over the nails so much easier. I love it. Like, in particular, these um, Sally Hansen Insta Dries. Now, this Insta Dry, sorry. Fast Dry Nail Color. Now, this one is number 260 Sonic Bloom. And this is uh, dries very, very quickly. And, again, what I love about it is the, the brush. Let me see if I can use off some of the different the um, paint enough to show you the brush. Or can you even tell? Can you see that that's flat? Look how wide it is. Isn't that neat? It goes over the nail so good. Why does that matter? It's very tapered edges as well, by the way. It matters because it makes it very easy to paint all of the nail, like to get to the, you know, the sides and the edges and, you know, the cooks and the cannies, um, brush it across the end so that, you know, the end of your nails don't not be the right color. And also that makes it chip easier if you don't do brush over the end of your nail like that and then paint over it. Um, that's why you always see in the nail shops, they do that. They always paint the end of the nail as well. For one thing looks, for the other it wears better. But anyway, so I purposely got this one as a very quick top coat to this one. And I absolutely love this. This is uh, part of the new spring uh, 2015 collection of Chanel's uh, Le Verne Nail Color. And it's 717. And I don't know how to say that word. Is it Coquica? It's an orangey red, and I love it because I think it's really good for fall, um, fall, <laughs> spring, summer, which is what we're in, so that's okay. Uh, but I do think it needs a base coat in the instance that, you know what, I don't even know that, so I don't know why I'm doing it, because I put polish over polish. I do. I don't take this off to put this on, uh, and my nail gal always goes, why you do this? <laughs> You, you always have nail on top of uh, what I do because what I, what she does is this beautiful nail job of French white. 
And then if I ever want to take this color off, the French whites underneath, because it's gel nails, acetone sets gel nails. So if I use acetone to take this off, it doesn't destroy the nail, it resets the color, which is French white. And so I can always go back to French white and just take this off. But a lot of times what I do is I'll just put a color on a color and she's like, oh, how many colors you got? You know? So anyway, um, but this may be a base coat to this, or I may just do this by itself. I'm not sure. But the next color that I plan to put on top of this color is this color. And it's the other part of the spring collection. And it is, how do you say it? Mediterranean. 707 Mediterranean, probably. Um, but it's a really, really pretty. Now, you can see when I put this baby blue in it, so it makes it look very teal blue. But it, it's actually a very, I don't know, it doesn't look that tealish. Um, but it is a cream base, whereas this is almost a little bit of an opalescence to it. So, anyway, I'm very excited to try that out. I'm going to be doing that tonight. Another product that um, I hauled a while back that I have been using is this CeraVe. Now, why Sarah? Because it has ceramides in it and hyaluronic acid. Can you say that with me? Hyaluronic acid. Good for um, sloughing off the old and bringing in the new. This is great for um, helping your skin. Actually, it says it right here on the back. I'll just read it to you. Um, Okay, I'm trying to get down to where it actually talks about what it does. Okay, with our unique patented multivesicular emulsion, MVE, delivery technology, this potent lotion provides multiple layers of nurturing and protective ingredients to the skin, slowing over time. Slowly over time, okay. Uh, it ensures that these ingredients, including ceramides and hyaluronic acid and emollients that moisturize and hydrate and soften the skin, penetrate deeply to nourish where you need it, long-lasting after you apply it. It is non-cornodogenetic, non-irritating. Ceramides help repair skin barrier, hyaluronic Hyaluronic acid attracts needed moisture. Emollients moisturize and soften dr very dry skin. And glycerin and dimethicone prevent moisture loss from the surface. So sometimes when you see those words, you know, back here in the ingredients, and you go, ooh, what's that, what's that, what's that? Not all of it's bad, guys. Sometimes you see that in foods, and they're preservatives, and you need those preservatives, so you shouldn't be eating that food. So it's not all bad. But it's fragrance-free, lightweight, non-irritating, um, and it just helps repair and restore the skin's natural barrier and re-moisturize it, uh, rehydrate it. I'm hearing a lot of good stuff like about this over YouTube. The only thing I would say is if you like lotion, great. Otherwise, I wish I'd bought the cream because I like a rich cream, and this is a little more watery. It, um, I'm sure that there's stuff in it that's good for you, but I was thinking pump is easy versus a pot. Um, you know, I don't want to have to get the little spatula out like I do with my Chanel um, Little Lift Cream Riche. Also, that's extremely expensive. In comparison, this is nothing, but this isn't cheap either. But, you know, you get what you pay for. This does have a lot of ingredients in it you probably couldn't get with your average lotion. So, I would say I have not used this long enough to notice a, an extreme difference, but I do feel like it's a bit softer on my face, and I'm just believing them that they're saying I'm more um, moisturized, but I have to tell you, the lines under my eyes are more pronounced than when I use my Chanel. I know, I don't want to be a huge, expensive Chanel person. Why is this in here? Okay, well, this has turned out to be, oh, I picked up the wrong one. I got a new Chanel palette. This is not it. This is the, y'all have seen this one. This is the TSA 214, the TSA Mademoiselle. And remember, you were with me when I first opened this. I said, oh, my gosh, this is the wrong palette. But it's not wrong. Y'all, this has been the best palette. Now, this is not what I'm wearing today. Today, I'm wearing the TSA Gabrielle. And I have to tell you, this is beautiful. I like it. It's a little more plummy. It's a beautiful palette, 
but of the two, guys, I can't believe it. I'm really loving this. And to think that I criticized it when I first opened it. Oh, that'll never be as too white. I won't die. Blah, blah, blah. Been using it every day. Except today, which I tried the Gabrielle. And I'm glad I, I added the Gabrielle to my collection because, you know, us makeup gals love collecting. Just like I collect handbags, I love collecting makeup. Um, so I like it being a part of my collection, but I still think of all of my Chanel palettes, this has become my fave. Can you believe that? The one that I said, they got the order wrong. They actually did get the order wrong, but it was a blessing in disguise. Okay, last but not least, this is older. Um, this is Kat Von D's brush set. And it's this cool palette. And y'all know I always put things by my face so you can see the size of it. It's this cool, I say palette, um, storage box. And it's kind of velvety and it's nice. It's not that heavy. I could carry this in a handbag, but usually I carry it in my tote um, if I take a tote. But what I really have to tell you is it sure is nice having these guys handy um, when I'm on the go. And I have to tell you, these brushes have ended up being so luxurious. They're very dense. They're very soft and yet they're really good at what they do. Um, so and they smell good. It's like Sigma brushes just smell good when you first get them. Actually my Sigma brushes still smell good from when I've had them for years. So I don't know what that smell is, but it's wonderful. Anyway, it's got the brushes you truly need. You truly need an angled brush, right? You need that to put on highlighter. You truly need a blending brush right? Can you see that? I'll put it up against this black. You truly need a short shader because I use this for lining and I use it for putting on darker colors. Both I can line under my eye. That's how I do this smudge look right there and also on my eyelash line and I can turn it sideways and kind of bring a darker color in just on this outer area. So that's the value of that. And then if I want to put a really bright color on my lid and I need a true flat shading brush, or if I want to use this for concealer and just uh, pat this underneath and then smooth it out, this is a good flat shader or a concealer brush. Um, and then of course this could be used for anything from powder to blush to contour. So it's just a good, um, brush set to have with you and I can't remember the price but it wasn't exorbitant for a nice brush set so I highly recommend this and then um, there was one more thing oh I forgot to tell you about this now I have shown this I think I've even reviewed it before but this is the Tarte Amazonian what's it actually called Rainforest After Dark um, colored clay eye and cheek palettes. Now when I first saw this, being a Christian, I thought, ew, it's a serpent, but it's, it's supposed to be a python in the rainforest. And you guys just back off. Don't, don't freak out like I did. And it's actually kind of pretty. But what I really like about it is it's got both mattes and shimmers. You can see that. You can see that it's got, um, I always have mentioned my ears in front of you guys. I hope you don't mind. There's nothing in there. That's actually the whole problem. My doctor said, you clean your ears too much, meaning I use Q-tips to get the moisture out. You know, I don't go too far in, but I do get the moisture out, and I use it to itch it, and it feels so good, um, or whatever. And that's not good. You need to let there be a little wax in there because it grabs the barnacles and the evils of the world and keeps it from going into actual little organ pieces like the anvil and the stirrup, or what's it called, the hammer? I don't remember all of it now. Anyway, where am I going with that? So... Back to the eye palette. Okay, so you can see that there's everything from a very pretty frost to a very pretty matte. And you've got this color over here that can be used for a bronzer or an eyeshadow. You've got this highlighter that can be used for highlighting your cheeks or an eye, um, the brow bone shadow or the inner corner. This is great. And the blush is a very neutral blush. It's kind of peachy pink, but it's really understated. Again, you've got darker colors where you can line both your brow and, and your uh, eyelash line. Or you can use that to soup it up for the evening wear. Um, this is really a great palette, and I have really enjoyed it. And I do keep this one in my tote now. And I keep this to be the brush set that goes with it. 
So anyway, that's all that I have for you today, and I hope that you really enjoyed it, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!